I'm here today at the grave of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, this is actually his original grave. They moved him up towards the front where he's more easily accessible to the tourists. But uh, while I'm a fan of Poe's work and I, and I like his writing style, etc., I think more interesting than that is the hero worship that kind of sprung up around this character who, called, who people called the Poe Toaster. For 70 years, this guy would show up at the grave of Edgar Allan Poe on, on the morning of Poe's birthday, and he would leave flowers and a note, and he would drink a toast to Edgar and, and, and leave behind what was left of the bottle. And this went on until the year 2009, and unfortunately in 2009, that was the last year the toaster had ever appeared, and nobody has seen him since. It was kind of cool, too, because he would show up, you know, in the middle of the night in a, in a dark trench coat and a black broad-brimmed hat, looking like he stepped out of a German Expressionist film, do his thing and then leave. Um, a lot of people think that, that he stopped coming around because he was... Poe's 150th anniversary, and if you're going to stop, or the 150th anniversary of his death, and if you're going to stop something like that, that's a good time to do, you know, to put an end to something like that. But I think that it's actually more unfortunate than that. I'm worried that that kind of thing just can't exist these days where everybody has a camera and the ability to document every single event in our lives. And so, unfortunately, something like the Poe Toaster, who's very, where it's secretive and mysterious and eerie, just can't happen anymore because it's just a matter of time before somebody tracks him down and, you know, takes a picture of him and puts an end to that. So, but I'm here today keeping an eye out for him and maybe he'll show up again.